Slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs are common left-hand techniques that create slurred notes. The pitch of the note on a string changes by the action of the left hand instead of hitting the string with your right hand. Now this might seem a little bit difficult at first, but once you're comfortable with it, you're actually able to play more notes with less effort. Uh, because instead of having to hit every individual note with your right hand, your left hand shares part of the work of playing the notes. Um, I'm going to explain each one of these three techniques individually, starting with the slide. Now a slide raises or lowers the pitch of an original note that's played depending on uh, which direction your sliding finger is moving. Now here's an example of a slide I played in the example song at the beginning of this video. I started with my ring finger at the third fret of the first string. Right after I played the note, I slid my finger up to the fifth fret. Notice that I only hit the first note with my right hand. Second note results from keeping the string held down and letting the sound ring out. See how it sounds? So even though you're only hitting the string once with your right hand, you get two distinct notes. Now you can slide from any fret on a string to any other fret on that same string. In either direction, uh, higher or lower, but you'll see a lot of common patterns depending on what key you're playing in. Uh, possibly the most common slide would be on the third string from the second fret to the fourth fret. That's a slide from a D note to an E note. And E, of course, is the same as the second note, uh, second string open. And of course, it's fine to play the second string open, but a lot of times it adds to the sound if you slide up to that note instead. Um, now, here's an example. Uh, don't worry about holding down a chord for this. Um, we'll do one measure of 4-4 four, four time, which is four beats. And on the count of one, let's play the second string open, the E note, followed by the ditty on the count of two. Then the third string open on the count of three, which is a C note, followed by the ditty on the count of four. One measure sounds like this. Right now we're not doing the slide. interesting on, on that first beat we'll add the slide in playing the second string uh, we'll play the second string open like we would do uh, do a slide on the third string from the second fret to the fourth fret like this and just play the rest of the measure the same as before so count of one it's and then slide and then open third string repeat that first time we played, the second time we played, basically the same note. You get a little bit different sound though. Let me alternate those a few times. Now a hammer-on always raises the pitch of a note that's being played. As with all slurred notes, only the first note in the pair is actually played with your right hand. Uh, notes are usually played by fretting in a certain position then playing a string, but with the hammer-on, the procedure is reversed. First you play the open string, and then you hammer down uh, on a fret to produce a second note. Now, for example, uh, here's the hammer-on beginning with the third string open. Use your middle finger to hammer down then on the third string second fret, like this. Try it a few times. Now you can also begin uh, on a fretted string. Say you're holding down a note, you can hammer on a note at a higher fret within one of your other fingers. For example, say we're holding the second string at the first fret, 
you could hammer down on the third fret of that same string with your ring finger like this. Try it. Let's try that with a bum ditty. Let's do another little hammer on exercise here. Start by playing the third string open, then hammer on the second fret, and hold that as you do the bum ditty. Now a lot of times when you're doing this, uh, you'll need to hold a, a chord position for it to really sound right. You try holding down the C chord, just use your pinky to hold down that C chord. Now as you're holding down the C chord, use your middle finger to do that same hammer on we did on the third string, like this. Just repeat it a few times. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to. You're going to find that you'll do that a lot of times in songs, so that kind of thing, holding down a chord. Try hammering on the second string first fret uh, to the third fret while holding the C chord still. Takes a little practice. You get the idea of that. Now a pull off always lowers the pitch of the note that's being played, so it's basically the opposite of a hammer on. So to produce a pull-off, you play a fretted string, then forcefully pull your left hand finger off the string in such a way so it produces a second note. Let's try that third string second fret again. Now this time we're going to start out by holding down the third string at the second fret. Then as we pluck the string, right after we pluck it, you pull off of it. It's important to note that you can't just lift your finger off the string because it just won't produce enough sound to get a good clear note. You need to actually pluck the string as you come off of it. Just give it a little downward tug. You see how it is if I just lift my finger. Not much sound at all. So you see you need to give it a pluck as you're coming off of there. Let's try that same pull off holding the C chord, incorporating it into the bum ditty like this. Let's try a pull off from second string first fret to open. You don't need to worry about hold a chord, holding any chords right now. Let's just practice the pull off second string to open. Second string, first fret, pull off to open. Let's alternate between those two pull offs in second string, or third string and second fret string, and then um, let's add the bum ditty in here. to slurred notes and if you learn some of my arrangements you're going to find many variations on these and I think you're going to find that the best way to practice and master these techniques is with actual songs and with practice you'll be able to easily apply these slurred notes to mostly any songs that you'd like to learn.